Good afternoon. In case you didn't know, this is a rally. Okay, so we're gonna make a little bit of noise. And when it's time to show your enthusiasm, please feel free to do so. Now before we get started, before I say anything, I just want to make this comment. There's, there's been some uncertainty as to a funding situation. And our teachers, our staff, all our staff members, not just the teachers, but the principals, the teacher assistants, the people that work in the cafeteria, human resources, everyone, our counselors, our behavior specialists, all of them have been working hard in uncertain terms, uncertain times. And they've still been doing a great job without complaining, without ever indicating that they were going to slack up. And for that, I thank you. No good deed goes unpunished. Well, here at Chester Community Charter School, we're starting to feel that we are absolutely living proof of that. Have we had academic success at Chester Community Charter School? Yes, we have. Have our children learned? Have they won scholarships to go to prestigious high schools? Yeah. Are they going to college at rates never before seen at Chester? and our elected officials be the judges. All we know at Chester Community Charter School is put together the largest K-8 charter school in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania with nearly 3,000 students. We've been successful in doing that, not because we forced parents to bring their children to our school, but because we demonstrated to them and to all of you that their children would receive the very best publicly funded education anywhere this part of Delaware County. Governor Corbett visited our school just nine months ago and praised our students for demonstrating to others, students and parents statewide, that having a choice means having a chance. In some cities, as you know, the school district is a huge organization and the charter schools are very small by comparison. It's not uncommon to see charter schools with a couple of hundred students or less, but not here at Chester Community Charter School. And here's something else that the world should know about Chester Community Charter School. Our parents and staff are absolutely and completely committed to their children's education. And this may be something else here. here at Chester Community Charter School because you, the parents, have made your choice where you want your children to be educated. We now teach close to 50% of all Chester's public school children. We also now teach 60% of all Chester children in grades K-8. Now as you know, our parents even get report cards. Alright? 
Now we grade them on how well they support their children. Now as I look around, I'm sure the parents in this room receive AIDS, correct? And, and did you hear about this? When the mayor of Chester decided to give awards for high achieving students over the last few years in all Chester schools, most of the winning students came from where? Were we surprised? No. And then there was the Heritage Bowl, where Chester Community Charter School middle school students competed in a black history contest against high school students. Guess who won? Yeah! Now that was the first time in the history of that event that a middle school student won. So that's quite an accomplishment. And how about our graduates? Well, listen carefully to this. 40% of the students who graduated from our first eighth grade class in 2007 are now in college. You see, our graduates are the future of the new gesture. They know they're smart. They know they can achieve anything they set their minds to. And just like their parents, they won't take no for an answer when it comes to their education. Now, and since the Department of Education will be talking about funding for schools tomorrow, let me be clear. Not only do we achieve excellence results at Chester Community Charter School, we also have historically achieved those results with only 75% of the funding that's given by the state to Chester Upland School District. Better results at a lower cost. At the end of the day, however, I want to make it very clear that we don't come to say bad things about Chester Upland School District. We know that 40% of the Chester Community Charter School parents also have at least one child who goes to Chester Upland School District. That's their choice, and we certainly respect that. Those families, those students are not our enemies. They are our neighbors. They are our friends and family members, and we don't ever want to lose sight of that. We also would no longer allow anyone or any other organization to try and pit us against each other. No more. We won't be tricked into that kind of negativity in our own community anymore. That's done. Now make no mistake, we do not want Chester Community Charter School to receive the funds. We do want them to receive the funds they deserve. But we also want the Chester Upland School District to provide a good education for its students and to receive its own funding. But when it comes to education and your students go to the school in Chester, it seems, as I said earlier, that no good deed goes unpunished. We've done a great deal of good together at Chester Community Charter School. Our staff, our administrators, you, the parents, a dedicated, hard-working students. But you know, you think we're, getting, we're not getting the support that we need from the legislators, the lawmakers, and the elected officials. We're not getting the support that we need. We, de we demand that we get that support. I'm sad to say that for all the work that we've done, what we've got from our government leaders is a threat that we may not be funded, which in turn will cause our doors to close. Your students have done very good deeds academically. They're actually rewriting the academic history of our city and changing the academic image of the students of Chester. Our children have come too far, they've come too far to have the doors slammed on their hooks. 